okay now i am going to discuss with you in this video concept 1.4 cube signs cube roots in this additional additional package questions i am going to discuss with you okay in that first question we have that so cube root of 3 power 6 into 4 power 3 into 2 power 6 by 8 power 9 into 2 power 3 i am writing this each exponent as the whole power as 3 the each exponent i am writing as whole power 3 see the little bit changes i am doing in these numbers so 3 power 6 can i write 3 square whole power 3 3 power 6 can I write 3 power 2 into whole power 3. 2 3 is a 6 only will come. Yes, already we have the power 3. Whole power I am converting as 3. So here 6 is there. To the whole power to make 3, I am writing 2 power 2 whole power 3. So 2 3 is a 6 again will come. Next year 9 we have. I want to make here 3. Then it becomes 8 power 3 whole power 3 into 2 power 3. We have power is already 3. So here each every number power is 3 we have. Yes. So we can write this as cube to root of 3 power 2 into 4 into this 2 square is 4. 4 by this 8 cube into 2 whole cube we can write now. This all powers are 3. I am writing as this all powers as whole power 3. Okay, so now this cube, cube root cancel, left over numbers, 3 square is how much? 9 into 4 into 4 by 8 cube, that is 8 into 8 into 8 into 2, okay, so 4 1s are 4 2s are, 4 1s are 4 2s are, so now 2 into 2 into 2, 8, 8 8 is 64, so 9 by 64 is the correct option, okay, next question, second question, cube to root of 10,648. Do the prime factorization for this. So, 10,648. So, we can write as 2 5s are, 2 3s are, 2 2s are, 2 4s are. Next, 2 2s are, 2 6s are, 12, 2 6s are, 12, 2 2s are. Next, 2 1s are, 2 3s are, 2 3s are, 2 1s are. Next, 11 1s are, 11 121 are. So, 11 into 11. So, this we can write as 2 in 2 cube into this 2 into 2 into 2 and 11 into 11 into 11. So the perfect cube prime factorization is in the group of three similar factors. Okay. So these three as one group, these three as one group. From each and every group, we need to select one number. So 2 into 11, into 11 how much? 22. So that is cube to root of 10,648 equal to 22. Next question. Question number 3. Cube to root of 1 minus 91 by 216. Here nothing in the denominator is 1. LCM becomes 216. So we can write it as 216 into 216 into 216. 216 minus 91 by 216. Yes. So this we can write as 216 minus 91. So 125 it becomes 125 by 216 so which is equal to cube to root of 125 by cube to root of we can write 216 cube to root of 125 is 5 cube to root of 216 is 6 what is the required answer for that 5 by 6 is the correct answer okay next question fourth question we have that cube to root of and the square root of 0 0.00064 the given. So previous only we can multiply the orders. Previous just now only I discussed with we can multiply the orders. Here 3 is there. nothing in the order means 2. Okay. So 3 gives how much? 6. Sixth root of okay. So 0 0.00064. This we can write in the decimal fractions. 64 by 10 lakhs okay so this we can write as 64 by 10 lakhs 64 i am writing as sixth root of 2 power 6 by this 10 lakhs we can write 10 power 6 this we can write 6 sixth root of 2 by 10 whole power 6 
So power 6, order 6 we can cancel which is equal to 2 by 10. 2 by 10 which is nothing but a 0 0.2. 2 by 10 is how much? 0 0.2 is the correct answer. For now I am going to discuss with you question number 5. By what least number 4320 be multiplied to obtain a number which is a perfect cube? So this 4320 is a not a perfect cube. If you multiply with some number, it becomes a perfect. Okay. So then we, we need to use here which method? Prime factorization method. So do the prime factorization for that. So 4, 3, 2, 0 here. 2, 2, 0, 2, 1, 0, 2, 6, 0, 2, 0. Next, 2 table. You can take divide in the 5 table. 5, 4, 0, 20. 5, 3, 0, 15. 5, 2, 0. Next, again 2 table. 2, 2, 0, 2 1s are 2 6s are next 2 108s are 2 54s are 2 27s are 3 9s are 3 9s 3 3s are so now we can write that numbers together how many 2s we have 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 how many 3s we have 3 3s 1 into 3 into 3 how many fives we have? One five. So make the in a prime in the perfect cube of perfect cube of prime factorization in the group of three similar factors. Yes. So you can make a group for every three similar factors. So these three as one. So here only two we have. So these three threes have one group. So how many twos and how many fives we need more to make a groups? So we need two fives. Yes. So 5 into 5. So 2 5's then it becomes a group. How many 2's we need more? 1 2. So if you multiply. So 1 2 we need. 1 2 we need. And 2 5's we need. So if you multiply with this number. Then it becomes a perfect cube. So what is the product now? 5 5's are 25. 25 to the 50. So therefore if you multiply. If you multiply. 4320 with 50 then it becomes a then it becomes a perfect cube then it becomes a perfect cube okay so next question so question number six we have that if 5x is a perfect cube then the least number of fives that must be contained in the prime factorization of x is. So here 5x is nothing but a 5 into x. So this to make a perfect cube, the least number of fives that should x should contains. So to make a group in a group, how many in a one group, how many same factors should be three? Here one five we have. So in this we need two fives. That means if this x should be 25 that means 5 into 5 so to make a perfect cube so how many twos the show x should have two twos that is option answer is two so which is the correct option for that option two so this x should contain two twos two fives okay next seventh question the sides of the three cubes x centimeter 2x centimeter 3x centimeter if the total volume of the three cubes is 7776 centimeter cube then the side of the largest side okay so they given the three sides of the three cubes the sides of the three cubes respective sides they given so volume is equal to so volume of first cube equal to Volume of cube cube one equal to x cube centimeter x cube centimeter cube and volume of cube two volume of cube two equal to that is two x cube that is two x whole cube centimeter cube it is nothing but a two x whole cube is becomes eight x cube centimeter cube next volume of third cube volume of cube 3 equal to equal to 3x whole cube centimeter cube that is 27x cube centimeter cube okay so now the total volume of the three cubes total volume of three cubes equal to the given 
so 7,776 centimeter cube they given. So the total volume of the three cubes is nothing but a, so va volume of cube 1 plus volume of cube 2 plus volume of cube 3, yes. So that is x cube plus 2x cube, 8x cube plus 27x cube equal to 7,700 76 centimeter cube they given so x cube plus 8x cube 9x cube 9x cube plus 27x cube 36x cube equal to 7776 then x cube equal to 7736 by 7776 by 36 so 6 1s are 6 6 are 6 1s are 6 2s are 12 5 there 5 7 6 9s are 54 6 6 are 36 again we can cancel in the 6 table 6 1s are 6 2s are 12 6 1s are 6 3 6 6 6 are 36 so x cube equal to how much we got obtained here 2 1 6 then x equal to we can write cube to root of 2 1 6 then x is equal to cube to root of 2 1 6 is 6 so the largest side the measure of the largest side they asked okay side of the largest side what is the largest side 3x so 3x is nothing but a 3 into 6 which is equal to 18 centimeter therefore the largest side is largest side of largest side of side is equal to 18 centimeter okay so next question we have so eighth question cube to root of 19,000 683 so do the prime factorization for that so 3 table 3 6 is 18 3 5 is 15 3 6 is 18 3 1 is 3 again you can divide in the 3 table 3 2 is 6 3 1 is 3 here 2 6 is 24 3 8 is 24 2 1 3 7 is 21 again you can divide in the same 3 table 3 7 is 21 3 2 is 6 3 9 is next you can take 3 table 3 2 43 is 3 81 is 3 27 is 3 9 is 3 3 is ok so now you can write that frame fraction prime factorization here how many threes we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 3 into 3 into 3 and 3 into 3 into 3 3 into 3 into 3 so we can make every three similar factors as one group this is this three as one group this three as one group this three as one group so we can to find the square root of a number we need to select from each group one number so 3 into from this group 3 from this group 3 so 3 into 3 into 3 27 so therefore we can write cube to root of 19683 equal to 27 okay. now i am going to discuss with you question number line question number 9 by what least number should 21600 be multiplied to make it a perfect cube so it is not a 21600 is not a perfect cube if you multiply this number with some number it becomes a perfect cube they said so we need to do use which method here prime factorization do the prime factorization method first here do the prime factorization for this so 2 1s 2 8s 16 0 0 next 2 5s are 4 0 0 next 2 27 0 0 next 3 table 3 9 3 3 3 hundreds are okay next 2 50s are 2 25 are 5 5 are okay so write how many 2s how many 2s we have 1 2 3 4 5 so that is 1 2 3 4 5 into how many threes we have 3 threes 3 into 3 into 3 how many five fives we have 5 into 5 so make a groups for every three similar factors so these three as one group we have only twos 
it is not a group okay we should have three so these three is three into three into three these three as one group so five and five also not a group so how many fives we need to make a group one five how many twos to make a group one two so that is five into two so if you multiply 21,600 with uh, 10 it becomes a perfect cube 5 to how much 10 so then it becomes a so the frame factorization of the factors are in the group of a uh, group of three similar factors so therefore we can mul if we multiply if we multiply 21,600 with 10 then it becomes a perfect cube then it becomes a perfect cube okay next question so cube the root of minus 192 by 81 check whether any cancellation in the 3 table or not 327 za, 3 6 za, 18 3 4 za, 12 so cube the root of minus 64 by 27 this we can write as cube the root of i am writing this minus 4 by 3 whole cube so minus 4 by 3 minus 4 into 4 into 4 minus 64 3 into 3 into 3 27 so we can write as minus 4 by 3 whole whole cube so 3 cube cube the root get cancelled then what is that answer minus 4 by 3 is the correct answer for this okay cube the root of minus 192 by 81 is minus 4 by 3 next question number 15 11 12 13 14 i will discuss in the next video see here 15th question cube the root of 343 by 4913 is so it is so cube this we can write as cube the root of 343 by cube the root of 4913 so cube the root of 343 is 7 cube the root of 4913 already we did this this uh, prime uh, cube cube root of 4913 which is 17 okay so 7 by 17 is the correct answer for this next question number 16 so minus 50 cube the root of minus 54 by 686 divide in the two table 227 the 2343 so that number is cube the root of minus 27 by 343 which is equal to we can write this is as cube the root of minus 3 by 7 whole cube minus 3 by 7 whole cube so cube cube root cancel that re required number becomes minus 3 by 7 similarly here in the numerator minus we have in the denominator also minus cube the root of minus 729 by minus 1728 this minus minus cancel this becomes cube the root of 729 by 1728 so this we can write as cube the root of 729 by cube the root of 1728 so cube the root of 729 is 9 and cube the root of 1728 is 12 so 9 by 12 see is there any cancellation for numerator and denominator yes 3 3 is a 3 4 is a so which is equal to 3 by 4 is the correct answer for that